Welcome to Reviews. Today we're doing Ristar for the Sega Genesis, also for the uh, <coughs> Virtual Console for the Nintendo Wii. This game actually is quite a cute little game. And I don't mean cute as in little kiddish. Although it kind of seems like it is, but it's actually a kind of challenging game. So I'm kind of happy with it, actually. The story is uh, pretty much as you're reading, so I'm not going to really go into too high depth of an explanation of the story here. Uh, just save the enslaved uh, people. Think of yourself as Abraham Lincoln and their African Americans. Okay. <laughs> Oh zap, that's part that's that's fucked up properly. <laughs> Anyways. Music on this game is atrocious. Terrible. The music <laughs> I will I will complain about the music. I'm a musician and I honestly could have probably stuck my ten year old cousin on the piano and been like, here, bang this out. Play with me? Rystar is so cute. So, does that not remind anyone else of Sonic? Uh, this uses uh, Sega Genesis 3, con three button controls. So, you're going to need uh, the classic controller or GameCube controller. Basic controls are... A, B, C, A is uh, jump, B is grab, and C is jump. A lot of Genesis games reused but used buttons for the same commands. Or Mega Drive for all you Brits out there. Hey, it's a flying cock. It's your average 2D side-scroller. But it's kind of perky. It's got its perky moments. A lot of fun little things. A lot of uh, very irritatingly hard spots as well. So it's kind of give what you can get. Yay. Your health goes by stars. And you, you can grab onto a lot of the uh, background and stuff like that as you watch them swing through the level here. And the uh, foreground and stuff like that to move yourself around. This is a fun spin thingy. I don't know what they call it, but I call it the fun spin thingy. Because you like spin and then you like rock it around like crazy mad. Use it to uh, get to secrets. If you could actually use it right. This emo Kid's Lame Sauce. That's right, emo kids playing everybody. Oh my god, we're getting. What's with this TV guy? All right, Mr. Productions, why are you giving us three stars on those Mario ones? They're not reviews. They're video walkthroughs on how to get the certain star. You'll have mini bosses throughout some levels, and some levels you won't have any mini bosses at all. There you go. You just grab them and like it's like football and wrestling. Or any homosexual sport. You just grab them and kind of, you know, throw yourself on them. You want to get that or stop sucking at life? I should, I'm going to put a new poll on our forums. Uh, should emo kids slit his wrists and end life once and for all? I want everyone that watches this video to go vote on the poll. Should emo kids slit his wrists? You're dead. No. Nope. Oh, oh, I don't know how you pulled that out of your ass. <laughs> yes, hacks indeed. Uh, sound effects are annoying. Music's annoying. But, uh, just stick your SD card or some shit into a, uh... It won't work on the Wii, but... You know, that'd be real nice if they, like implemented some kind of uh, integration between an mp3 player and the virtual console. That would actually be very nice. But um, go put your own music on or something because this game's music and sound effects make me want to kick babies. It looks like an empty scrotum. <laughs> Oh, GG. Alright, 
Well, this is reviews. I'll give this game seven out of ten for a virtual console game. It's pretty good, especially compared to all the NES games they've been releasing. So, you know, it's definitely one of your better buys. Um, well, this is reviews. This is Chris and this is Derek saying hi. You better say hi. Hi. <laughs> saying peace out